Hello, I'm Tatiana Coover. And I'm Morgan Klein. And we're here to help you get your tech on. A one-stop shop for the latest apps, devices, and computer software, bringing you the current trends in media and technology. This is Tech On. A huge focus on any product developer or consumer's mind is information storage. There can only be so much on any given device. Storage units such as USB thumb drives or external hard drives are great tools for anyone crunching high bit rates, especially with fast USB 3.0 connections available. But the future seems to be looking up. To the clouds, that is. Cloud storage is the future of information sharing. The cloud refers to the internet and means that information is shared on multiple devices through the net. Photos, music, documents aren't the only things that can be shared through cloud services. Programs can be too. A service such as the Adobe Creative Cloud offers a utility and is currently free for all CSUF students. For more information on the software, check out the IT department's page on the school's website. The service is essentially your favorite Adobe applications, made available on a single computer. With a download of the ACC application, you can access different programs such as Photoshop, Premiere, and Dreamer. We use technology on a daily basis so commonly that most tend to take it for granted. I know I do. I do too. It's pretty bad. We enjoy what technology has to offer without exploring where certain innovations came from or what makes them work. The computer mouse is one such thing we take for granted every day. Without the clicker, it would be difficult to access many files and web pages. And where would we be without that little right hand cursor and click? The mouse is absolutely essential to any computer user. But how did this little friend of ours get to where it is today? Surprisingly, it has its history in wood. You didn't know that? Not a clue. Well, listen up. Way back in 1963, an engineer named Douglas Engelbert, with the help of his lead engineer, Bill English, invented the modern mouse at what was at the Stanford Research Institution. The gadget had a wooden base and used two wheels to roll back and forth. The wheels were perpendicular to each other. The rotation of the wheels translated into motions along an axis. And that's so, the story of it. So weird that the mouse started as a block of wood. That would take forever to like shave Mind it down. Blown. But because of that, we've got to where we are now with our current mice. Now we don't even need mice as touch screens are becoming more and more popular. Now with a swipe of a finger, we can access many pages on our phones and tablets. But what if you want to access all your favorite pages at once? Convenience and simplicity are always a plus for many users. Finding every bit of news on one single page is a great way of keeping up with the latest updates. That's what you get with Flipboard. Labeled as your personal magazine, Flipboard collects all of your favorite sites, magazines, and blogs onto a single page so you can easily access them. When you download the app, you can find magazines to, do, to subscribe to. You can also add blog sites and keep up with the latest news. By connecting the app to your social networks, you can also share your favorite articles with your friends. Later, I'll send them to you. Thanks. The app is free and available for all mobile operating systems. That's pretty cool. But you know what else is cool? What? Yes. Is that a robot? Robots. Robots. That's what we have for this episode's video of the week. A German firm has spent, oh, a German firm has spent the last two years developing probably the cutest robot you'll ever see. It's known as the Pionic Kangaroo. And it's designed to mimic the movements of the large marsupial. <laughs> like kangaroos, the robot stores energy between each jump. This unconventional technique allows for a new method of energy conservation for transportation.
guess that does it for this episode of Tech On, bringing you the latest information about technology and technical services. Also, don't forget to download the app of the week we talked about earlier, as well as check out the full video from our video of the week. For more information about the Adobe Creative Cloud, you can contact the CSUF IT department. And remember that this ACC and other popular Adobe products are available for all students. Thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Klein. And I'm Tatiana Coover. Make sure you tune in next time to get your tech on.